I'm David Norman, Director of Product and Business Development at Discover Battery. In today's segment, we're gonna debunk the myth that lithium iron phosphate batteries are way more expensive than traditional lead batteries in off-grid applications. We'll start out with a traditional lead acid battery bank. In this particular case, we're gonna look at a generic six volt AGM cell. Okay, that cell is again, six volt battery. It's gonna have a 20 hour discharge rate of 390 amp hours. And uh, we're gonna need eight of those batteries connected in series to create 48 volts. The individual cell cost is about $500 per cell. Okay, times eight is gonna give you a battery bank that costs $4,000 to give you 390 amp hours of gross energy storage. Okay, if you do the math on that and, and review it in reverse, uh, your dollar cost per amp hour of that is gonna be again your $4,000 divided by 390 amp hours, it's gonna give you a dollar cost per amp hour of $10.26. By now, most solar installers are aware that the key selling characteristic of a lithium iron phosphate battery is its longevity and life expectancy. At Discover, we refer to that characteristic as Eon, and again, it talks about the longevity and life expectancy you can expect from a lithium iron phosphate battery. In order to compare apples to apples uh, comparisons with lead acid and lithium, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the battery bank we created in the last segment, and we're gonna model that over a 10-year horizon. If you look on the back of the data sheet and publish specs for any AGM battery that's used in solar applications, you're typically gonna find a chart or a table that will give you an expected cycle life uh, from a battery given a certain depth of discharge for a design characteristic. Okay, with this particular battery, and again, it's a six volt, 390 amp power AGM battery, it's gonna yield us a thousand cycle life expectancy from a 50% depth of discharge. If I take the thousand cycles, that they expect for the life of that product and I divide that into 365 days a year which would be a once daily charge discharge cycle I'm going to get a yield of 2.74 years out of that particular battery bank or that original battery bank purchase if I look at that over a 10-year horizon again that means I'm on my fourth set of batteries by the time that that 10-year odometer clicks Okay, that means that my cost of energy storage of my lead acid battery bank has now exploded and it's four times what the original cost was at $16,000. If I wanna look at that in dollar cost per amp hour terms, it's simply $16,000 divided by 390 amp hours and that's gonna yield me now a figure of $41.03 as opposed to $10.65 from the original purchase. Another factor that's very familiar to most solar installers is the derating of traditional lead acid batteries to account for depth of discharge. Whether you choose a 30% design depth of discharge or a 50% design depth of discharge is really a personal or site specific preference. Just understand that it has a really severe impact on the economics of the cost of energy storage for that site. At Discover, with our Discover AES lithium iron phosphate batteries, we can discharge those batteries to 100% DOD. Okay, we call that feature juice. And what it means to you is that you get what you pay for and what you see is what you get in terms of doing your design reviews. So if we model out that original battery bank that we built, it was a 390 amp hour battery bank at 48 volts. Okay, that was eight six volt cells. Now at 390 gross amp hours, if we were to take a 50% DOD rating and apply it to that battery bank, what we come out with is a useful capacity from that battery bank of 195 amp hours. That's okay, but it's half of what our original gross calculations were based on. So if I look at my dollar cost per amp hour now of that battery bank, I have a $4,000 battery bank that I purchased originally. Over the course of the 10 year horizon I'm looking at this battery bank for, I have four planned replacements. That puts the cost of my energy storage at $16,000. Now, if I realize that I have 195 amp hours of usable capacity from an amp hour capacity that at a gross level of 390 amp hours, my actual cost per amp hour of energy storage is $82.05. Now that we've looked at the real cost of lead acid batteries over a 10 year horizon, and we've converted the gross capacity of that battery bank into useful capacity using the depth of discharge rating, let's compare it to lithium ion. 
The Discover 6.65 kilowatt hour battery is 130 amp hour capacity at 48 volts. The average homeowner can expect to pay $7,000 a battery for that 130 hour amp hours of useful capacity. If we take three of those batteries and we model them out into a system that's roughly equivalent to the lead acid we started with, that's three batteries at 130 amp hours a piece for a useful capacity of 390 amp hours for $21,000. That works out to a dollar cost per amp hour of $53.85. Now, if you'll remember from our previous conversation, the cost of lead acid energy storage over a 10 year horizon using a 50% depth of discharge was $82.05. Given the 10 year horizon we were looking at it over and given the depth of discharge rating at 50% that we had to plan for, lithium iron phosphate batteries are significantly cheaper than lead acid for your average solar homeowner.